currently there are currently three there are currently three main problems with conventional indoor smoking. People cannot conscientiously and completely smoke indoors. It smells up the entire room and thus causes a bunch of secondhand smoke to build. As a user to smoke smoke free our the the vapor market is currently an eight billion dollar industry and it is exponentially expanding and growing right now it's an early, it's very early in the stages and it's a perfect time to get in before it peaks and matures we expect to penetrate one percent of this market and secure it as well so for the competitive landscape there's four main categories that smash falls into first reduce risk tobacco product then smoke mitigation filters, and Smask has the ability to smoke all herbs. And finally, Smask is the only product that has the ability to smoke both factory and hand rolled products, giving us the competitive advantage over all of our competitors in the market. So, so far we've accomplished a decent amount. We've secured a provisional patent, we've established a team, we built a tabletop concept that proved our, our device, and um, we have also developed a custom cheap manufacturable carbon HEPA filter. However, we still have a tons to go. So far, we're in a seed round, uh, seed round stage seeking $150,000 to $300,000 in funding so it could get us to launch phase. So like most hardware products, Smash started out as a drawing. Then with our preliminary AutoCAD knowledge, we developed a 3D printed Smash 1 prototype. Then we moved on to a Smash 2 prototype that included an electrical component and then a third prototype, and eventually to our final rendered DFM prototype. We wanted to know how well this mask worked, so we got a particle counter and decided to test our filters. What we found is that we drastically reduced the smell, carcinogens, and also last up to 300 uses. And as seen by the picture on the right, you can clearly see how we reduce uh, those pollutants. Uh, this mask is a uh, pocket size, slightly smaller than the iPhone 7 in both length and width. Uh, yeah. We plan to acquire customers using popular tech forums and marijuana forums to resonate with our millennial target audience. We already have soft commitments from uh, many vape shops, tobacco shops, uh, and vaporiums in New York, as well as some uh, dispensaries in Colorado that, have, uh, that said they will stock our product, and they'll be our key partners at launch. Also, we plan to co connect to our consumers with a message calling for a, co a co more conscientious and responsible way of smoking. So for our B2C platform, we have a sales strategy of selling through our key partnerships, as well as developing an e-commerce platform that will allow us to sell online. This mask cost $120, and we have a reoccurring revenue model, which is kind of similar to the Gillette Razor model. So essentially, we're going to sell filters for 5 to $10 a month. Our margins are relatively high. It's uh, over 75% for the SMAS device, and then over 90% for the actual filter. For our B2B business model, we're focused on the issue that marijuana dispensaries cannot legally allow their customers to, to try the product in store. The SMAS will allow them to do so. Also, we're planning to sell it to these dispensaries for a little wholesale value, which will, give them, will, which will give them ability to buy more and replace the product more frequently. Therefore, the margins will be a little lower with 75% for the filters, and we're looking at roughly 50% for the device itself. From our financial snapshot, uh, we have calculated that our revenue on the first year of sales should be roughly 45 million. For, yeah, 45 million. Uh, besides me and Dylan, we also have an engineering team with 20 plus years of work experience with big names like Thule and Coleman. So they are more than able to step up to this engineering task. Uh, to reiterate, Smask is a smoking accessory that eliminates the odor, fumes, and carcinogens caused by smoking, allowing for a user to have ultimate smoking freedom. Uh, we are currently in the design for manufacture phase, seeking $150,000 to $300,000 in funding to take Smask to launch.
thanks to the help of CUNY Accelerator, we have learned vital techniques such as lean business plan and agile to help our business run smoothly, efficiently, and to minimize wasted time and effort. Thank you everybody for your time. We'd love to take questions. Uh, yeah, so we have a carbon HEPA filter inside the device, and the, in, the, all the smoke is internally captured because we have a nice like air seal, uh, rubber seal, uh, and it's cycled through uh, using a fan. So basically, there's two chambers. The cigarette size stream gets sent through the filter and out into the environment, removing 99.9% .9 of the carcinogens. And then once again, when the person exhales back into the device, it's just sent right through the filter and out through the fan. So how does that compare to sort of the current vapors? Like, obviously, somebody smoking a vapor, it's it's not a, like a cigarette. It's not vapor. That's the secret. Uh, so basically, there's nothing on the market like this because all the products in the market so far is vapor. This is not vapor. What it is is you're actually smoking. You're not giving up that smoking commitment that you want. We've interviewed a ton of smokers and any smokers in this room, you could ask them. You cannot compare that, that feel you get from vapor compared to actually smoking that cigarette. I guess the, the problem though, like obviously vapor has sort of that weird gray zone that it's allowed inside, at least for now. But are you saying somebody could smoke a cigarette inside like here, even though there's going through the filter? I and mean, obviously there's a legal component to that. It's yeah, essentially, essentially, that's the goal, but there's a huge legal like component with that. So realistically, is that really feasible? I don't think so. So I think what we're looking at is more like internally in your home, in your car, around your children, places where you want to smoke, but you don't want to hurt the people around you. And at the same time, you don't want to go outside. It's midwinter. It's cold outside. I want to smoke in my room and I want to sit next to my daughter while doing so. Okay. I think that's it. Thank you. Thank you, guys.